How bad have you ever wanted revenge? The painting Judas slaying Holofernes is a great example of what revenge can look like. For Artemisia Gentileschi, this painting made her one of the most famous artists of the Baroque period. This painting depicts two young women, their sleeves rolled up, their gaze focused as they're about to commit a very gruesome act. One of the women is holding down a man on a bed while the other woman has that man's head shoved down and in the other hand a sword as she is about to sever his head as she is severing his head this is a very bloody and gruesome depiction of a biblical story the story of judith the story goes judith was a young widow from the jewish city of bethulia where the assyrian army had just taken over and judith comes up with a plan to save her city so she dresses up in her finest clothes, puts on her best of makeup, and walks over to the Assyrian general's tent, Holofernes. There, Holofernes is just in awe of her beauty and invites her over for dinner with plans to later seduce her. Judith um, stays for dinner and Holofernes becomes very, very, very intoxicated. The Book of Judith says, quote, Holofernes was so enchanted with her that he drank far more wine than he had drunk on any other day in his life. Judas saw her opportunity and with the help of her maidservant, uh, beheads Holofernes for her city and her people. Now you might be asking, what significance does this have and what does this have to do with revenge? To understand, we have to look at Artemisia's past. Artemisia has a, had a very troubled past. When she was 17, she was sexually assaulted by her father's uh, good friend and her mentor. Um, what followed, his name was Agostino Tassi. What followed was a very lengthy and public trial where she recounted her struggle with Tassi and how she attempted to hurt him with a knife. She also described her feelings of betrayal when she found out her female chaperone had conspired with Tossi to leave the two alone. Um, it is said that Judith, that Artemisia depicted herself as Judith. It was like a self-portrait in her painting and that Holofernes was depicted as Agostino Tossi. So now that we understand Artemisia's personal connection to the story, to the biblical story of Judith, um, we can understand why it was a much more bloodier, more passionate description of the story than what her male counterparts were painting at the time. This painting is one of the many reasons why Artemisia Gentileschi paved the way for women artists everywhere. The significance of this piece is perfectly summed up by Ballas Tassig saying, quote, Judas slaying Holofernes is such an iconic painting and a symbol of women's emancipation. It may be regarded as well the same in the contemporary moment in the context of the Me Too movement and the growing debate concerning gender equality. All in all, the painting Judas slaying Holofernes is a perfect depiction of female rage and captures the determination of strength in women through her.